Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's PStudio69 here once again with another live tutorial on this program developed by ABM Software PowTalk Messenger 10.2 the version build uh, 485 now on this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up your sound devices and how to play music within PowTalk now I thought I might as well make these uh, uh, videos just to show you a little bit about PowTalk and how it works it's a very unlike um, uh, Yahoo Messenger, MSN Messenger, or Skype, where those programs it's just one on one only. This program is a program where you can chat to multiple people in any one room. So let's take a look first of all. So when you're on PowerTalk and you want to go to a room, all you do is go to Chat Rooms and then click View All and then a category list will open up. As you can see here, there's a number of categories in that list. And the first one we're going to pick is uh, International Meet New Friends. This is the rooms you see as rated on the front page of PowerTalk. So we double click this, and this will whisk me straight into room, as we can see here. And so we can see... So we can see here, let me turn that music off. So we can see here that we're in the room and you can see there's multiple people in this room from around the world. And you can see there is hundreds of them. So they're all chatting together in this one room. Let's go through the list. And you may notice the different colour nicknames as well. The different colour nicknames uh, represent something on PowerTalk. Well, if you're blue, you're a paid member. and you're green, you're a paid member. Even when you're purple, you're a paid member of PowerTalk. As you can see, my, my name's in there somewhere. Uh, I'll show you uh, where it is. You'll be able to find it. So let's go and push this button. And there it is. It's right here. Right. So when you're on a blue nickname, you can get unlimited video windows. Let me just show you a few. So I can click on as many cams as I can see here. And they're all start to load up simultaneously. So as you can get there, there's a load there, and there's all the people that I can see, right there, right through. So if I want to go and enter another room, I can do what I want to, so all I have to do is just memorize this room and with paid nickname you can go into up to three rooms at any one time. Then you go into the next room, so you wait for that room to open, so now you've got multiple rooms open on PowerTalk. <laughs> Sorry about the music. You <laughs> shut it all up. Okay, so you've got the gist of it there. Okay, so these people have uh, in their uh, music on Power Talk. I'm just having a bit of trouble here. I'm running money cam and everything else at the same time. It should be good. All right. So you got the gist there. So that's how you get into rooms on PowerTalk. Now the coloured nicknames. Blue is that you get um, <coughs> crystal clear voice and you get a streaming quality video. Up to three cams open at any one time and you can participate in up to two rooms at any one time. The cost of that is varies around the world. Here in the UK you do have the monthly option where you pay $9.95 and it's about £6 UK. Or $29, which is about $15 UK for the year. On the green, on the green mix is the extreme one. You get the high quality, high quality sound. You also get uh, fully streaming video, so you get TV quality video with it. Up to unlimited cams open, so you can have as many open as you want in any one room, so you can watch multiple users, as I just showed you there. And you can do, you can participate up to three rooms at any one time. With that, at the moment, you get <coughs> 50 uh, virtual credits with it, free, as soon as you sign up for the paid nickname. On the VIP, it's a VIP status, you do get a purple nickname, and you do get Hi-Fi Sound and HD Video. They're the only two differences between the two, everything stays the same on the purple. Now, we'll move on to how to set the sound in uh, PowerTalk, so if you want to play music in your room, Let's say you've created a room and you want to play music in it and everybody's saying in your room, oh, it sounds a bit crap, it's coming through the microphone. Well, 
there's a way you can do that. Depending on what operating system you're on, whether you're on Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7 or Windows 8. From Windows Vista, Windows 7 and Windows 8, it's virtually the same process. It's no difference. The only difference is XP. Now, I must warn people that Microsoft are phasing out XP at the end of this, in the middle of this year. So, no more updates will be up for that. Unfortunately, they're forcing everybody over to Windows 7 or Windows 8. So, at the bottom of your screen for Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, on your taskbar, as you can see there, is your clock in the bottom left hand corner, and to the right of that is your white speaker icon. Now, you right click on the right speaker icon, and a drop up menu will appear, and I want you to click on recording devices. Wait for the window to open, sometimes it takes a bit longer on this computer because I've got multiple caches open, and here it is. Okay, this is your this is your recording devices. Okay, you can see multiple uh, tabs in that window there. And at the moment, I'm speaking through my microphone, which is there, that one there at the bottom. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you something here. So I'm just gonna show the disconnect devices and disabled devices. So I've disabled that should disappear. There we go. So this is what you should see when you first come into your um, sound recording settings by doing the clock, right clicking on the clock and then recording devices, this is what you should see. Now if you right click anywhere in this space and then select show disabled devices and then click it again and then click show disconnected devices, you'll start to see that your microphone pops up, your line in pops up and your stereo mix pops up. Now to play music in, in, in PowerTalk, it's Stereo Mix. So you right click on Stereo Mix, you enable it, and once it's enabled, you right click it again, and he sets it as default device. Now on some certain sound cards, like the Konex or the IDT Audio ones that are built, uh, built into Hewlett Packard laptops and some PCs, this does not have the Stereo Mix feature which means you won't be able to play music within PowerTalk. There is a way to do it if you've got Wave on your sound card, you can do it for your Wave, but other than then, if you've got a desktop with the IDT or the Konex uh, sound cards built into them, you might want to go out and invest in getting a different sound card. Right, so that's how you enable the music on uh, PowerTalk. You just right click on your speaker icon, recording devices, and then once you're in there, you right click in the white space if you don't see stereo mix, click on disable, uh, click on show disabled devices and disconnect devices. Once that's shown, all you have to do is just come back in here and right click stereo mix, click on enable, and then click on set as default device. I ain't going to do that at the moment because that knocks out my microphone on here because I've used a few microphone. Now, <clears throat> let me give you just a touch. If you want to talk and wear music and uh, talk at the same time as your music and on your microphone at the same time, you uh, commonly use a pink jack mic, which is the one that uh, plugs in at the back of your computer. Do not plug them in at the front because you don't get a good connection at the front and it doesn't hold as much bit rate as it does at the back. So, you always use the back. Uh, ports on your PC, the pink, the pink for the microphone in the pink and the green into the green on the back of your holes on the PC. Now if you're using a USB microphone, whether it be a desktop USB, uh, headset USB, uh, webcam mic like I'm using here, this is why it sounds awful at the moment, um, you probably will be able to talk on the mic at the same time, you probably won't. It's always advisable to update your um, drivers if you don't get any anything like that, so if you don't see real tech high definition audio or Sound Blaster high definition audio or Konex Sound Edition uh, high definition audio, and it just says high definition audio device, you need to go to the computer's manufacturer and download the latest drivers from them. Okay, the way you just see it on here, how it works on Windows 8, 7, and Vista only. Uh, it's basically the same process, so it doesn't matter. I'm on Windows 7, and you could be on Windows 8. It's the same process, so don't get uh, too high rated about it and start going into the PowerTalk help lobby and say, 
oh, well, this guy's put a video on YouTube and uh, he's done it the wrong way. We're now to exactly the same as I just done there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the tutorials today. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, if you need any help with the PowerTalk program, I'm here to help. Okay.